I'm from a persecuted but unprotected class of people in society. Some of it I was born with genetically and some of it has come about over the years through experiences of persecution, ostracization, and um, just being generally ridiculed and picked on that's driven me just further into that. Um, I, Because of it, I generally am only able to find solace and friendships within people who understand the struggle, who understand uh, what it is to live life the way that I live it. My discrimination knows no bounds that I experience. Um, it can happen at stores, restaurants, uh, movie theaters, recreational activities, all of it. Some of you are going to scoff and think, hmm, <laughs> yeah, right, okay. But in reality, the church says that what I'm a part of is a sin. And I understand that the scriptures say that. I understand also that my problem is not a problem that started overnight and it's not going to be solved immediately overnight either. It accumulated over years and it's going to take a long time to undo what's there. It's a subject that a lot of times folks don't want to talk about in church because a lot of people feel that they're struggling with the same issue. Um, it's also not a thing. It's a thing that there are people that just skirt around and play around with the edges of this and they can get along just fine. They can operate in both segments of society with no problem. But I was harassed and picked on about this in junior high and high school. Um, I know it's affected perceptions of me and my ability to get a job or being perceived as fit for jobs in different places. What I'm talking about is obesity, actually. It's the idea that, you know, yeah, I have some things genetically that predispose me to collecting fat in certain areas that are more visibly uh, not favored by society. I've gotten picked on about where fat collects in my body. And scripture calls gluttony a sin. You make one bump in an X from XL to 2XL, and automatically now you're paying two to four bucks more per item of clothing. It's amazing that that one little bit of fabric to move from XL to 2XL is all the difference in changing the price of an item. And there are only two groups of people in general that uh, have any interaction with us obese people. They're other obese and overweight people or folks that want us to change. 
Yeah, a lot of folks in churches don't talk about this as boldly and blatantly because a lot of people experience it. It's also been a little bit of a hush-hush experience as more folks were having to live sedentary lives during the pandemic. But the reality is it's easy to persecute. It's easy to point fingers at because it's visible right out there in front.